and four and five. Check that out. We have this whole entire road locked down. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial. And in today's video, we are installing Spike Strips V. This is an older plugin, but it still works till this day. So let's go ahead and hop into this tutorial. First thing you gotta do is download this file right here and hit agree and download. Now there's three different versions. We're just gonna go with the 1.2.0. I always like to go with the latest. And we are also going to install a texture for this plugin. It is not required. You can use it just as is uh, with the natural spike look to it if you guys do like that. And what I'm talking about is this right here. If you guys like this look, you are basically good to go after we install it. Uh, and you guys do not need this other texture. And that is this right here, but I will show how to install it. So don't worry. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and install this also or download it, I should say. There are two different textures. There is one that is all black with two red strap handles, as you could tell. And then there is one that actually is like basically all red and actually says stop sticks on it. Uh, we are going to install the red ones and it's the same method to installing the black one. So we're gonna go ahead and download this file. And if you want the red ones, it's going to be this old version. If you guys want the black one, it is going to be this top new one. I'm gonna go with this old version. We're gonna download this right here. And you're gonna need open IV. So if you guys already have LSPDFR installed along with like EUP and uh, like the K9 stuff and other custom vehicles, you'll already be familiar with how to do this kind of. So we got both of our downloads right here. We can now exit out of your browser. We no longer need this. Next step is to open up your GTA 5 directory as I already do right here and we are going to go into the spike strips v folder we're going to go into plugins and you got these two files right here now you're going to drag these into the plugins folder in your directory so we're going to double click on that we're going to take both of these drag and drop right in there now this configuration file this is the file you use to customize your keybinds so you guys can have a little look through that if you guys want to change things up a little bit it's really simple as to just hover over this and change it to a different key the default is k to deploy it and to remove it off the ground it is o and to make the spike strips bigger and uh for size that actually means how far um across the road you actually want these to cover so it, I, I believe these are the left and right arrows so we'll figure this out in game but for now we can exit out of that and we are going to install the textures so we no longer need the spike strips v download we can exit out of that next step is to open up open iv and it's very simple we're just placing in textures at this point in open iv we can go ahead and turn on edit mode go into the police stop stick folder and you're going to need these two files these other pngs these are just pictures of the texture in open iv we're going to go to x64c on the left side right here right there now if this pops up be sure to copy to mods folder if this doesn't pop up it means you already have x64c in your mods folder i don't so we're going to copy to mods folder there we are now as you can see our uh, path file on top we're in gta 5 mods folder make sure you're under mods folder x64c next step is to go to levels gta 5 we're going to go to props Lev Dez and then PV Lev Dez skin. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take both of these files right here, the YTD and the YDR. You're going to drag and drop these right into this blank spot. Now to make sure you actually have it in up in the search bar in the top right, you can actually type in P underscore LD underscore Stinger underscore S. As you can tell, they're right here. If you click on the YDR, you can now see our stop sticks are installed. So let's go ahead and unclick edit mode and exit out of open IV. We are done installing the plugin and texture for spike strips V. So let's go ahead and hop in game and I'll show you guys how to use this. Actually, the next step is once you've loaded rage, be sure to click on that config uh, or the uh, little cog wheel on the rage startup, because what you're going to want to do is go into the plugins under here and make sure spike strips V is ticked on because you want this loaded up. 
Now, this isn't really required. This is just so that it's ready to go as soon as you get in game, um, but you can load it in game. You don't have to do it through here. This is just the way I like it. So I'm gonna leave it checked and hit save and launch. So right when we get inside, we'll be able to use it almost instantly. Alrighty guys, we are inside the game. Let's go ahead and use this Spike Strips V plugin with the new textures. So if you guys, you guys don't even need LSPDFR loaded up. You can actually just instantly use it because it's its own plugin. So again, the keybind for it is K to deploy it and O to remove it. Now with the arrow keys on your keyboard, the left and right is the size change. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So each number, uh, it goes up in how many strips go across the road. So this is just one strip. This is two, three strips and so on. So if you just want to use, you know, if you want to cover one lane, so you got a, a fleeing car coming, you're, you know, doing an error assist call out and you know where they're coming from and you're already ready to go. All you have to do is park up right here, get ready to go. And as soon as they start rolling up, if we have it set to one, we'll cover this number two lane right here. Just hit K and shabam, there you go. You got spikes on the ground ready to go. Now watch this. It just flattened his, uh, his tires. I don't know if you guys heard it, but it definitely flattened his tires. If you guys don't believe me, I'll spawn out a different car. Not my own car because um, I believe they don't pop. Actually, you know what? Watch. Watch this. He's going to go. There. There. You guys saw it. It flattened. You could hear it. Yeah, he, he's he's got flat tires. They work. Now, if you guys want to pick it up off the ground, all you got to do is hit O, and it is gone. Now, watch. If I want to cover this whole entire road, so let me go ahead and clear traffic real quick. So if I just turn off traffic, and I do, how many lanes is there? One, two, three, four, about five lanes right here. If I do five strips, it should cover most of it. We'll see. One, and two, and three. And four and five. Check that out. We have this whole entire road locked down. So if there's multiple fleeing cars, they are absolutely reckless and you're just trying to stop them and you're ahead of the game, you can deploy all these stop sticks ready to get them, you know, captured. They're like, you're set. It's awesome. All you got to do is hit O. And they're gone. Now, one interference I found with uh, the keybind settings, uh, the default key K, uh, it, if you're inside the car and you try to use your TAs, it'll spawn them. Let me go ahead and show you guys. If I turn my lights off and I just want to turn on, turn on my traffic advisors, it'll deploy them. Which is also kind of cool because if you don't want to get out of your car and you just want to deploy it, it's unrealistic. I get it. But... You don't want to get out of your car. You can just deploy it like that, which is pretty cool. And you can also pick it up, just hitting O. But as you can tell, I turned on my TAs and it spawned them. Same with turning them off. Um, but that's basically it, guys. It is a very, very simple plugin. Easy plug and play. I uh, really hope you guys do enjoy it. Let me know in the comments how it worked for you. Um, and that's pretty much a wrap. Be sure to hit that like button if you guys haven't already and hit that subscribe button and turn on that uh, bell notification so you don't miss another tutorial or gameplay video or stream. Um, and I hope to see you guys again. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out, guys.